Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of an Aussie Fummy in the Philippines. Today, Chi Chick and I, we're making pork jerky. And the crowd went wild! Rawr! So, we're making pork jerky today. So, we were at the butchers the other day at um, Casano Mall and had these beautiful hunks of meat. Look, look at this, absolutely gorgeous. So, we so I said to Chick, let's, let's make up some pork jerky. We haven't done it this year, we haven't made a video on it. She said, let's do it, Dulls. I love your pork jerky. And I said, I'm glad there's something you love about me, darling. So, what I'm gonna be showing you today, so this is our meat tenderizer. It has blades in it to turn it into a meat tenderizer. Perfect for your schnitzels, chicken schnitzels, pork schnitzels, beef schnitzels. But you can change the blade over and you get a slicer. Now with the slicer, it uh, turns, it slices the meat into pieces like this, as you can see. So what we're gonna do is we're going to marinate these down. This is, this is how it goes through the blades. It comes out like this. So what we're gonna do is marinate the meat down the vacuum pack and six o'clock tonight, we'll put it in the um, dehydrator and then six o'clock tomorrow morning, it'll all be ready. So I'm gonna show you how this thing works. Come and grab a hold of this baby, any side you want. Right, so get your meat, get as much fat off as you can, as you can see here, okay? Just cut the fat off because you can get it what's left over and it's dehydrated, it's easy to get off and it's good for the dogs. Now this is your piece of meat, you put it inside here like so, turn the handle, all right? And down it comes. I'll put my hand in it. This, this is the thickest I've put through because I want this in a nice size. I didn't want to cut the steak in half, if you know what I mean. Well, since she's a big bug in this one. There you go. This is what it comes out at, guys. Have a look at that. I so say this, this should be actually about that thick. It goes through the machine quite nicely, but I'm not gonna bugger that up. So that's your strips of jerky. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put all this through, gonna marinate it down, and then at um, six o'clock tonight, put in the hydrator. It's now coming on to 8.30. So um, follow me today, and I'll show you how to make pork jerky the simple way. Down below in the description, you'll find the, the link for this, the dehydrator, and of course, the recipe. Because you need the recipe. It's the a very marinade. simple recipe. The marinade. Yeah. Let's do it. Right, so this is what it comes out like, guys. This is the normal thickness, as you can see here. And this is how it slices it. All just like this. Bring this out into here. So this is how it slices it all. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. All by the turn of the handle. Look at that, look. So now, the marinade. I'll mix up the marinade and we'll vacuum pack it down for um, six, seven, eight hours. We'll vacuum pack it down for about eight, nine hours, will. And it gets more flavour into it by vacuum packing it. And it'll be equivalent to overnight. So, let's see. Right, let's get into the marinade. So we'll mix up all the marinade, then put it in a vacuum pack bag. Then later on, we'll stick it in a dehydrator. So what we need, soy sauce. What we need is one cup of soy sauce. Try and get the best quality you can get. Say no more. Right, one cup of soy sauce, 3.5 ounces of smoked liquid smoke, any flavor you want to get in. Right, Worcester sauce, two tablespoons. Brown sugar, one cup full. Garlic powder is one tablespoon, garlic powder. Hot sauce, one tablespoon, any flavor you want, no problem at all. Chili flakes, good half teaspoon full. You gotta put the chili flakes in guys, it's not really that hot, really needs it. Plus you also need half a tablespoon of salt, half a tablespoon full of pepper. So if you put all that together into the bowl, give it a really good mix first, and then into the marinade. And that, will, that marinade will then will go right through all the meat, perfect. So let's add this in. Yummy. Liquid smoke, smell it. Mmm. Yummy. Worcester sauce. Some people call it all different names. Worcester Shire and all this stuff. We call it Worcester. Dark brown sugar. This one's we get from Australia. Premium dark brown sugar. Okay. Add that in. Good. 
garlic powder. Now I've tried many recipes guys and I found this one to be the best one that I've made up out of them all. And the dogs, absolutely, to train your dog to sit with these as snacks works so well. Okay. Chili flakes, salt, and last of all, some pepper. Now, what I used to do was just pour this straight into the bag and mix it in the bag, but um, I found that it wasn't really incorporating together very good. So give it a really good mix up, and then we'll vacuum pack it down. All right guys, so all our marinade is done, it's all put into the bowl. So what I do is I put it in the bowl, and I like to put it into a tray where I can get my fingers into it, okay? Before I put all the meat in, I like to go through and make sure every piece is separated. Each one. Take your time, go through it, because if some are still joined together from the machine, okay, it's not good. So, the only way to get a really mix is to get into it with your fingers and make sure that every piece is actually marinated. Every piece. I used to stick all these meat into a bag, then I'd pour the marinade in, and I found out if meat are sticking together, like so, then the inside wasn't being covered. So spend your time, right? If you want a good product, guys, take your time and do it slowly, do it properly. Mix it around so that every piece is coated. Then we can put this into the vacuum bag, put them in the refrigerator, and at six tonight, we'll put them in a the dehydrator for 12 hours. So what do you think, hun? It's really... Smelling good already. Smell huh? that smoke, can't you? Mm. Smell that smoke. So I'll be back at you guys. Thank you very much for this stage. All right, guys. So there it is. That's the finished product there. So this is in here. What I do is I vacuum seal it down. I turn it inside out, um, fill it up, turn it back over, wipe it through, and put it on the vacuum pack. Now this was down there. Now this is going to stay here now for the next next uh, 10 hours to marinate it. If you want, you can stick it straight in the dehydrator with what's there, but uh, we like to let that soak into it. So there you go, guys, that's what we've got. And we'll be back at six o'clock tonight when we load up the dehydrator. So thank you very much for watching. Thanks for holding the camera, hon. You're welcome. You're welcome. Right, let's put this in the fridge. Right guys, we're back, it's six o'clock. So this has been in the fridge for many hours. So what we're gonna do is just cut the seal off. We're gonna place this back inside the tray. Look at all that, look at that. Oh, look at that, mmm. Put these up. This is how we do it, guys. We grab hold of our meat, <laughs> and just lay it down. Now see this is twisted over, what we need to do is untwist it so that it is flat. Trust me, these are the little things I've learned while doing the jerky. Otherwise the heat cannot penetrate into it. So what we're going to do, we're going to load up all these trays, just like so. They say leave a gap between, you don't have to, they're going to shrink very fast. Yeah. So we could have, we could have eight trays. By the time we finish, we'll be down to about, what, five trays, hun? Last time four. Last time four. So they shrink right down, guys. They shrink right down. So Okay, just load up these trays. Like I said, the secret, guys, is make sure that there's no twist in the meat. Yeah, just Otherwise, the heat will not get into it. That is the secret. Secret. The secret is that... Mm, Okay. Well, how wide it is. Okay, take this out. So as I do a tray, this will go in like so. So there's two trays in there already. Okay, last tray. So what we normally make these out of is out of the legs. Okay, so what we, we do the leg side of things. Okay, let's pick it up. Bring it in, baby. Bring it in. So this is the last tray. Like I said I shrink down to half their size. And I'll tell you, we've got to hide these from my eye hunt. Mm. There you go. Drop it over here or here. 
There we go. Okay, so we set at 165, we've got 13 hours up, and we just close the door. I personally like to do this outside because of the smell of the liquid liquid smoke and yeah. the soy sauce. Hickory. The hickories. So this will go now until tomorrow morning. All right, so we've pulled these out. It's now six o'clock and they're out. So have a look at this. When they cool down completely, that's when you know the actual texture of your jerky. It's when you know, remember, you lose a hell of a lot when you, um, you lose so much. But anyway, this is how it's turned out. So what's it taste like? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Mm. 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 Right, so we just weighed it all up, and what we ended up with, um, we started with two kilos of pork, and we ended up with just over 700 grams. That's what we ended up with. So you lose a, you lose a fair bit, but um, you, the flavor doesn't come out. This is only a mild one, because we didn't put much um, chili into this, remember, on that recipe, because um, Tick Tick doesn't like, like the hot ones, I doesn't like the hot ones, and if you're having a beer with these, then it's okay. But two types we normally make up is mild and hot, Hot, then um, it's like a cup full of chilies in there. And another one you'll see a lot of people actually, while it's wet, they'll be pouring the chilies over the top before they stick it into the uh, dehydrator. So there you go. So from two kilos of pork, we ended up getting 700 grams. And this is how we package it up into 100 gram packets. And we sell these at um, 350 per packet. And we have our little sticker on there, Panabo Homestead Deli. So there you go, guys. This is how you make jer pork jerky. It's quite simple, it's quite easy, and remember, anyone can do it. Have a look down below for this, in the description, you'll see all the links to the equipment that we've been using today. Thanks guys, catch you later.